miss out on yesterday's action? Well, you came to the right place. Welcome to DV's Daily NBA Recap, where we recap yesterday's games in a short amount of time. Let's go. The first match we're going to discuss is the Milwaukee Bucks taking the commanding 2-1 series lead over the Orlando Magic in a 121-107 victory. Giannis had a monster game, 35 points, 11 rebounds, 7 assists on 12 of 14 shooting. Absolutely fantastic. And also Chris Middleton actually came alive in this game, 17 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists. Probably his best game in the series. On the, Ma- on the Magic side of things, it was a really good performance from DJ Augustine off the bench, 24 points and 6 assists. Vucevic, not as great today, 20 points, 5 rebounds. By the way, um, James Ennis and Marvin Williams did get ejected from this game in the second quarter when they both got into a little scuffle. I know James Ennis tried throwing a punch, and I think it's kind of ex- escalated from there, so that's why they were both ejected. Milwaukee really took over this game very early, and they got up to basically a 27-point lead come halftime, and it looked like they weren't going to stop. But the Magic, you know, they had a little bit of fight in them, end of the third quarter, early fourth quarter. They were chipping away at that lead, and I believe they got it down to 12, but... Milwaukee really did um, have like just too much talent on their team. Giannis was absolutely insane this game. 85% from the field is absolutely ridiculous. And people were just hitting shots. I mean, the disparity from the three-point line today um, definitely wasn't as bad as the like other games, were, especially when the Magic kept it close. I mean, 19 threes today for the Magic, 17 for the Bucks, not too bad. And Giannis just looked absolutely dominant. You got a bit more help from Chris Milton in this game, which is good. And they just came out with a very convincing win. Um, the Magic did not have like the the star power just to match up with Milwaukee, and this game really showed. I mean, good effort, but they weren't able to pull through. So good win for Milwaukee. We move on to the next game, and this game was a little bit more intense. The Miami Heat take the two one the three zero series lead over the Indiana Pacers, and as they win one twenty four to one fifteen. By the way, this stat was kind of shoved down our throats for the last two days. Teams are three zero down or 146-0. and 0. It has never happened before. No one has ever come back from 3-0 deficit. I've heard that like maybe at least five times when they were talking about this series, the Celtics series, and the Raptors series. So if you guys didn't know, I mean, there you go. But good game from Miami. Um, good game from Gordon Drogic once again, 24 points, 6 assists. Kyle Hero with 20 points off the bench. Sam Adebayo had his best statistical game, 22 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists. And Jimmy Butler led the way in points with 27. On the Indiana side of things, this is a Malcolm Brogdon game, bro. 34.7 rebounds, 14 assists for the man. And TJ Warren helped out, helped quite a bit too with 23 points as well. Miami Heat really got up to an early lead here. And it looked like they are just going to take another one of these games like quite comfortably. But actually, but really quickly in the third quarter, the Indiana Pacers really started to um, fight back. I was going to Heat in that quarter, 34-20. to 20. And it was a lot of Malcolm Brogdon, especially late. Like, I believe he scored like... 13 or, or even more points in the fourth quarter. Like, this guy was just absolutely on fire. And I don't think he was going to really, um, he was going to really take them to victory. But near the end of the game, the Pacers started just making bad moves, to be completely honest. Um, they couldn't even really grab an offensive rebound. I mean, I mean, a defensive rebound. That amount of bio was killing them on the glass. And whenever they um, wanted to get a rebound and get on the break, they just couldn't because Bam just kept rebounding the ball and just taking positions away from them, which is Highly unfortunate. And this series could really be like all emblematic in this like in like two plays at the end of the game with TJ Warren um, getting blocked by Jimmy Butler near the end and also um, him being stripped. I mean, the Heat are just a better team. They kind of proved this entire series. And even when the Pacers had like the best chance they've had, they still weren't able to pull it out. So good win for Miami. Um, will this be a sweep? Maybe there's a little bit more fight in Indiana, but I give them one game at most. Good win for Miami. Move on to the next game, and this game was insane. The Oklahoma City Thunder facing off against the Houston Rockets, and OKC finally get a game. Um, they're down 1 2 still, but they actually won a game here, so that's a good win for them. 119 to 107 in overtime. On the Thunder side of things, their three headed monster in the backcourt was fantastic today. 29 points, 5 assists, 5, assists, uh, five rebounds for Dennis Schroeder, 26 6 and 5 for Chris Paul. And Shea Gilgis Alexander with 23, 7, and 6. Also, Noah Gallinari helped out with 20 points as well. On the Houston Rockets side of things, James Harden, before he fouled out, 38 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists. Jeff Green, another fantastic game off the bench with 22 and 7. And this game was insane because um, Houston actually looked out to like, kind of maybe try to take control early the game, 
but OKC just kind of stayed around. And for the first game, it felt like what was been working for them all season was finally working in the playoffs. That three-headed monster in the backcourt, you know, um, that rotation between Shea, Chris Paul, and um, Dennis Schroeder really came up big in this game. And, you know, like they had the end of the game with those three guards in the lineup and they're just providing offense, which is really good for them. And sure, I mean, it went to overtime. Chris Paul missed a bunny at the rim somehow to like not end the game in regulation. But in overtime, once Chris Paul, or once James Harden fell out, it was easy pickings for the Rock uh, for the Thunder. And Chris Paul was just an absolute masterclass in that overtime. This guy hit three after three, was setting up everyone. Like it was just an ins- insane showing by Chris Paul. And well, the Rockets again, another big game for them. But once James Harden like got out the game, I mean. It was going to be hard for them to like, develop really any offense. I mean, Eric Gordon, once Lou Dort was on him, I mean, Lou Dort was just absolutely fantastic in this game defensively. Like, holding Harden is 3 out of 14 shooting when being defended by him. And, you know, at the end of the game, when he was with, on Eric Gordon, like, he just made things super duper uncomfortable. And it really showed, like, it, in his presence really halted the, the offense of the Houston Rockets. And that's good to see because he missed game one. He was he was still trying to get his legs back in game two and and today I mean he really showed like why he was a starter for the majority of the year for Oklahoma City and again I mean the three-headed monster was absolutely fantastic Chris Paul was amazing late and I mean the stuff that was working for them in the regular season finally worked in the playoffs so uh, let's see if they can be able to keep this momentum I mean who knows if Harden was still in that match that they would have wanted but I mean it's a good one for Oklahoma City and maybe this series gets a little bit more interesting so. Good for OKC. Let's see if Houston's going to bounce back. The final game of the evening, we have the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Portland Trailblazers, taking the 2-1 series lead in a win, 116-108. to The LeBron we've been waiting for has finally come out. 38 points, 12 rebounds, 8 assists. This guy was aggressive all night. Anthony Davis really struggled in the first half, but was fant- fantastic in the second half. 29 points, 11 rebounds, 8 assists on the game. And on the Portland side of things, Damian Lillard, 34 points, 7 assists. CJ McCollum, 28, 8, and 4, and also Carmelo Anthony chipped in with 20 points and 6 rebounds. This game is crazy because in the first half, Dame and CJ were really controlling the game for Portland, while LeBron was just keeping in it for um, the Lakers because, like I said, Anthony Davis struggled for the majority of the first half, and LeBron scored over 20 in the first half, I believe, just under 30, actually. I think he scored like 27 points out of his um, 38, so... Really good performance from LeBron in this game, especially like aggressive. Like he wasn't just looking for his guys, he was also looking for his own shot, which we've been waiting for the entire bubble. Which is good because once AD, you know, gone to the locker room in halftime, he kind of regrouped and he put in a fantastic second half, scoring over 20 points in the second half. And for the Trailblazers, I mean, they just, the offense just kind of stalled at that point come the second half. And both teams looked gassed. I mean, there were some possessions where it was ugly, where just teams just did not get back on defense. Like Anthony Davis would just chill in the backcourt. This felt like a 40 men's rec, rec league game. And like, um, like in the fourth quarter, these teams were gassed. Yusuf Nurkic took gas in this game. It was like Anthony Davis was just taking full control of that matchup throughout the second half. And it got ugly, it really did. But the Lakers were able to pull out the win. Um, they're looking like the best, that was the best game the Lakers have played this entire series. So. You know, good win for them. The the offense, the defense wasn't as there. It wasn't as good as it was in the second game. But you know, that second half played really well. Love seeing LeBron being aggressive and AD, you know, helping pick up the scraps in this in the second half. So good win in total for the LA Lakers. I still think the Blazers might be able to take a game off the series. It's just you know, it's tough. Like when you've like played this many like intense games to, like in a short period of time, like it's hard to um, kind of recover from that. So. Let's see if they're ever going to bounce back in game four, but good win for the Lakers. And that is the end of today's recap. Thank you guys for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, remember to like, share, and subscribe. All that good stuff. Show your boys some love. If you're on IGTV, leave a follow, leave a like, comment, and, and all that good stuff. But yeah, thank you guys for listening. I'll come back tomorrow with another podcast and another recap. So thank you guys for taking the time out of the day to watch this. And I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Take it easy, guys.